Hello, Dumaguete. Hello, Negros Oriental. Hello, Silimanians around the world. This is Joshua Solidilio. And this is Ronilyn Faith Vailosis. You're watching Hashtag Siliman. For Hashtag Siliman updates, the Siliman University hosted the Forum on Voluntarism in Higher Education Institutions of the Philippine National Volunteer Service Coordinating Agency, or PNVSA, September 8, 2022 at Siliman Hall. PNVSA organized the forum to promote volunteering for development among higher education institutions. On the other news, the Board of Trustees of the Suleiman Alumni Association, Incorporated, recently elected its officers to serve a one-year term from 2022 to 23. Elected were Yasmin Ali from Mindanao as President, Sydney Mapa, Greater Bacolod Chapter as Vice President, Maria Agnes Tenorio as Treasurer, Adlai Amor, Chispake Bay Suleiman Alumni as Public Relations Officer. Ardir Marie de los Reyes was re-elected re as Executive Secretary. Congratulations and more power! The Dr. Mariano Lau Innovation, Creation and Invention Laboratory is calling for in-person and online participants for the discussion on innovation problems and solutions in the post-pandemic era by Assistant Professor Janice Antoinette V. Forster on September 24, 2022 from 1 p.m. up to 5 p.m. For more information, you may visit their Facebook page, which is Dr. Mariano Lau Innovation, Creation, and Invention Laboratory. See you next week for another set of Hashtag Suleiman updates. Good evening, everyone. This is a magazine program that talks about different aspects of Suleiman University. A program initiated to discuss matters concerning the campus by the sea. Welcome to... Hashtag Siliman. Mayang gabi sa tanan and dagang salamat for joining another episode of Hashtag Siliman. As you join us tonight, we wish that you are in your excellent state of health. Speaking of health, the university is following the minimum proto health protocols as students surge, you know, in the university. Right, Ron? That's right, And how Josh. does it feel, Ron, that we have students in the campus? Um, after a two-year hiatus, no, I, I kind of miss the laid-back, you know, Dumaguete City where, you know, there are not too many people right. around. But I'm also happy that we have here with us, you know, um, our students. How yes. about you, Josh? Well, I'm actually overwhelmed and I cannot, there's no word to describe and who can capture actually my feelings post-pandemic times. And our definition of security has even more leveled up that also involves health security That's run. True. Mm -hmm. And tonight we are joined by the forerunners of our security buildings and grounds and allow me to introduce to you first the OIC Chief Security Officer of Suleiman University. We have Mr. Rodolfo Jewel B. Luxin Jr. Good evening sir and welcome evening, to the program. Sir Joshua. Thank you for having me. Okay. Welcome, sir. And uh, of course, we also have here with us the Buildings and Grounds Superintendent. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Engineer Edgar S. Ignalaga, Jr. Good, Good evening, evening sir. ma'am. All right. You'd like to throw the first question, Ron? Yes, I'd like to um, ask them what keeps you busy nowadays that we have, you know, a lot of not even, not just, you know, students, but also alumni and perhaps parents and also outsiders coming in to Silliman University. What keeps you busy nowadays? Well, Engineer? Uh, in the buildings and grounds, as we remember, uh, we have two years that we did not maintain the university in a full-scale maintenance. Mm -hmm. In fact, we have our uh, contracted services uh, rendered 10 days per month only mm -hmm. instead of 20 days per month. That mm -hmm. is to reduce cost of the university during the pandemic. So uh, we expect that uh, with the reduction of the days that they rendered to us, there will be also a reduction of the maintenance output mm. by 50% also. Mm -hmm. So now, uh, when classes begins after the two years of uh, struggling with the pandemic, we are still also in the pandemic now, uh, we had a uh, heavy work to do in cleaning the campus, not mm -hmm. only on the grounds, but in the classrooms. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
that is our uh, workload now to clean the campus, do maintenance, no? uh, not only on our faculty and staff housing or in our academic buildings, but also in our dormitories. Mm -hmm. uh, our dorms are, uh, uh, some are in full capacity, some are not, but still we do uh, maintain it mm -hmm. and uh, have it uh, clean and welcoming to our students. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for that, Engineer. Sir Jewel. <clears throat> well, for me, um, I believe if all of us are working, we keep ourselves busy. Um, mm -hmm. Aside from being the OIC Chief Security Officer of Silman University, I'm handling as well another department, the ROTC department. Mm -hmm. And for me, um, what I usually do is just um, I keep up with the instructions, the things that has been happening around the campus, um, receiving reports by my security supervisors on what is happening all around mm -mm. and as well as focusing on my job because I cannot just focus more on the security but as well on my other mm -mm. workload. Mm -mm. Um, in engineer, I'd like to clarify uh, before we go further because um, your office is called the Buildings and Grounds. Yes. So essentially, it's the physical structure of the Siliman, whole Siliman University campus, right? Yes, is that not, not only campus, but also on other extended properties of the university. Wow. Uh, up to Tikau Island. No, yeah. We have a facility there in Tikau Island. Uh, Would you mind if uh, we ask the area of that, sir? The, the area of the donate, that, that property was donated by the Howe family to the university mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it is a 460 hectares wow. of property. So uh, we have uh, our academic buildings there, we have the dorms no? and we fully equip it with generators. When are you going, going there, sir? Uh, because we have, can you we bring have been, us with you? Because <laughs> we, we have been we have been there. Maybe for, we can join and shoot an episode there. <laughs> we have been there for uh, quite a number of years now. Okay. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, due to the pandemic, uh, we have not been yeah. there already. So mm -mm. Uh, the other properties of the university, like the Marina Clinic, the Palimpino, the, the Marina Clinic is the one in Darwin. Darwin. Yes, we okay. have the. The Palimpinon, where the centro is uh, being uh, relocated. The, ah, our zoo. Yes, the yeah. zoo is there. And uh, we have also the Siliman Farm at Pamplona. Wow. So all other, all other properties of the university with the, uh, with the physical facilities, we maintained it. Mm -hmm. no? It is uh, with the buildings and grounds. And so not only in the campus, but also... Uh, on other extended properties of the university. So we are the maintenance arm of the university. Well, I, I can't imagine the pile of requisitions yes, <laughs> on yes, your table, yes, sir. Yes, yes. And uh, uh, it is on queue. And uh, sometimes uh, we are on delayed in the estimation of the estimated cost yeah. of some requisitions. So we ask the, you, the, our colleagues to... Yeah. Bear with us. Yeah. Mm -mm, be patient. Be How with about uh, with you, sir, uh, Jules? Uh, what is the scope of your responsibilities as the chief, uh, OIC chief of the, the security Aside from office? the main campus, um, what Engineer Ed mentioned earlier, the Tikau Island, we also have uh, security guards deployed in the area. Um, the Palimpinon, including the Siliman Farm, the Marine Lab. The Marina, Marina Clinic in Darwin, mm -mm. the Centrop in Palimpinon, and here in the ball field, at the back of the ball field, mm -mm. Well, we still have uh, a security guard posted in there, including the villages, the Divinity Village, the Siliman, Siliman Village, Village, and the UEM Townhouse, which is located at the back of the Siliman ball field. The Filipino Semafranca ball field, I mean. Wow. So that's the scope. It's quite big, yeah. and it's a challenging um, work. How big is our campus, or how big is the university's cam uh, campus? The, the main campus is uh, roughly 36 hectares. 36, 36 hectares. hectares. Maintaining 36 hectares. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Grabe Ron. 36 hectares. So, um, in the onset of the pandemic now, how do you adjust your services given that 
you have people and of course uh, it's not like we send a computer to clean the room or to maintain mm -hmm. the fixture so on and so forth so how does the buildings and grounds office um, accord no, with the protocols given the pandemic uh, during the pandemic we we have a reduced uh, uh, output on the maintenance but still we focus our maintenance on the faculty and staff housing okay because the faculty and staff housing is there and uh, even though there is a pandemic they are still in the campus the faculty and staff so most of our time is focused on the faculty and staff housing maintenance and some uh, maintenance of the academic facilities uh, sometimes uh, we are on uh, skeletal work so therefore uh, we have a limited time to access the academic facilities so, mm -hmm. so the main focus of our maintenance is on the faculty and staff housing and some on the academic facility and all other uh, facilities of the university mm -hmm. You know, Josh, listening to Engineer Ignalaga and Sir Jewel, I couldn't help but ask, no? Because the scope of their you know, duties and responsibilities doesn't just revolve around people, but also buildings and grounds and all the facilities here in Selman University. Mm -hmm. Now, I'd like to ask them a personal question, Sir Jewel and Engineer. What's the most challenging part um, with regards to your jobs? Let's have Sir Jewel. <coughs> Um, for me, is that probably the relationship between my colleagues mm. because I'm still at a very young age and the personnel that I'm working with is more older than me. Mm. Uh, so I would consider that as a challenge for me. Mm. Um, giving out these instructions, telling them what to do okay. and what, to, what, what not to do. So yeah. in, it's... It's very quiet for me. Sometimes it's because um, based on the trainings that I were able to get, mm -mm. I really need to respect my seniors. And right. there's chances that those seniors that I have been giving instructions um, sometimes failed on the instructions that I just relayed. So mm -mm. it's very difficult for me to uh, make a reprimand towards them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's this uh, yes. like reservation yes. to do so. Yes. Okay. How about your engineer? Well, uh, my, the challenges na, that we are facing in the buildings and grounds that is quite uh, bigger is that during uh, activities that involves uh, outside activities. Mm -mm. Mm. Like example, our preparation for the bar exam. Yeah, uh, recently, last, right? Uh, yes, mm -mm. and uh, I think there will be another bar exam coming. And mm -hmm. Silliman will still be yes. the okay. host. No. Mm -hmm. uh, the visit of the president, no? visit of President Duterte here in Domaguete, it is hosted in the Silliman gym. Okay. No? Uh, as uh, we remember. And also, uh, yeah. there are other activities like the uh, ICOFIL, no? the international conference that is held. So, uh, not even venued in the university, but even though it is venued uh, in Domaguete, but still, the university has a bigger part on that because all of the preparations, uh, the facilities, mm -hmm. the utilities, mm -hmm. uh, it will be the buildings and grounds that is behind that one together with the security mm -hmm. office. No? When we deal with the government agencies in the preparation for the uh, setup, like uh, the presidential guard, that yeah. they, are, they are here. Uh, two days or three days be ahead or before to check the that, area. Yes, yeah. to check the area, and uh, they, sometimes they, they demand. No, mm -hmm. oh, uh, one time they demand that uh, uh, we will cut the trees. Uh, some cut of the, the trees. trees. Yes, oh some of God. the trees uh, <laughs> beside the Ravelio field. Okay. So the century-old trees. Uh, no, mm -hmm. not century, but uh, oh, no. trees are precious to us. Yes, yes definitely. Mm -hmm. So uh, they, 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 they ask us to cut it so that uh, it will be easy for the helicopter to, ah, to, to land. So okay. we said that uh, uh, we will just trim it. We will not cut it mm -mm. because uh, the trees in Siliman are sacred. You know? uh, we, can, we can have a building redesigned to fit in the yeah. area without mm -hmm. cutting the trees. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. One example is the Portal West. Mm -mm. No. You can see the Nara behind. Yes, it's still no. there. Mm -mm. Yes, mm -mm. but uh, we, we redo that, the design of the building. So that is uh, how trees are important to us. Right. And uh, 
uh, that is our difficulty because uh, maintenance work is a routine. No, it is a routine and it is just only a scheduling and a budgetary yeah. uh, amount. <laughs> we need to have the budgetary amount and uh, uh, we need to have the budget for some renovation. But our big challenge is the preparations of uh, some uh, activities in the campus because that is not budgeted. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Our resources is we spent it and we have uncertain uh, we have uncertainties uh, and on who will pay for that. Right. The city True. or the province. Because it's an external yes. event, yes. right? Yes. Oh, so the, that is the uh, in our in our case that is the big challenge to us. Okay. So uh, engineer and uh, Sir Jules, um, Ronin actually asked a personal question, right? And you mentioned about sacred, holy, yeah. since yes. we have the security and the buildings and ground superintendent here. Do you have any horror stories to share? <laughs> <laughs> do you believe in that? Do you, have, do you have personal encounters in the university? Yeah. Well, we, we heard stories long. Oh, we heard. You, ju you just heard? Yes, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But is that part of your maintenance as well, sir? <laughs> 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 to accommodate those who yeah, not to, like ours. <laughs> like you ask permission. <laughs> like, uh, yeah. Well, uh, our our maintenance personnel maybe in their beliefs they they ask uh, permissions. Okay. Mm. Uh, they they respect it even though you cannot see it or you are not certain of whatever. But right. Mm -mm. Just just to. Respect. But you know, Ron, these stories are really part of the Siliman culture, right? That's true. Given and, our and it's something that we can look back yeah. and you know <laughs> laugh. Although that if you experience that firsthand, no, you might be shaking in fear. <laughs> but if we look back, no, we might be laughing just because of the memories. Exactly. No? Fun memories. Um, on a different topic right now, Sir Jules, with respect to the points of entry and points of exits in university, which among our gates are functional and serves as exits and entry points. For college students, we have one, two, three in the west part of our campus, which is the KH Gate, Katipunan Gate, Katipunan okay. Hall, the Villarreal Hall Gate, mm -mm. and the Laguna Gate. And sa ato ang east nga area, we have the Admin Gate, our junior high school, high school and the elementary as well, including our, um, what's the gate, sir, Sa, top, beside the junior high school? Uh, uh, 58th Avenue. 58th, 58th Avenue. Avenue. Uh, okay. We opened that um, on a broken time. I, I, I think it's 12 hours now. 12 hours. 12 hours because the that junior... That leads to the, the Kalauman rooms. Is yes, yes, the senior high school is using some of the rooms in that mm -hmm. area. So okay. that's the gates that, we are, op that are open. Sir, the, the gates for the Katipunan and the VH gates are like, um, I observe in the afternoon, it becomes a one-way gate. So, you, you'd like to share the schedule for the one-way and two-way? Uh... Uh, with regards to that, because the city has a schedule wherein the Langheim. The, the Langheim Road. Langheim. The Hibbard. Hibbard, Hibbard Avenue. Avenue. Uh, Hibbard Avenue. Hibbard okay. Avenue is closed on a certain time. Mm. And that's why... We are not allowing um, vehicles to exit in that area that would turn right. They yeah. can just turn left. But there's no such thing as it is a closed okay. um, road because they can still exit through the K KH gate, but they have to turn left. Ah, mm. I see. All right. You know, Josh, engineer mentioned a while ago about uh, not cutting trees because, you know, for us, trees are holy and we, um, we respect it and we, uh, we see it as very important. No? So, um, it only means that Silliman University cares for the environment. Now, we are also advocates of zero waste management. Yes. So, I'd like to ask how does the building, buildings and grounds function in line with the zero waste management um, advocacy of Silliman University? That policy was implemented in 2018, mm -mm. no? Mm. Uh, and uh, the student government has a big part on that mm -hmm. implementation because they are the ones who formulated the pictograph that was uh, placed on the trash bins. Mm -hmm. no? So, uh, during the pandemic, uh, the, the waste generation of the university is very minimal. 
uh, it is only on the faculty and staff housing. So mm -mm. we we put designated uh, garbage bins with uh, colors and pictograph, and also we we place on strategic part of the university a food waste bin. Mm. No, that food waste bin is uh, collected every day, and it is uh, decomposed at the back of the buildings and grounds. Mm -mm. No? Uh, we it is not thrown in the canals or in the septic tanks or bolts, but it is uh, decomposed naturally mm -mm. at the back of the buildings and grounds. And we have our uh, material recovery facility at the buildings and grounds. We mm -hmm. have our segregation shed at the buildings and grounds. So uh, we we dispose our residual waste to the city. Mm -hmm. They are collecting it with their compactor. And uh, we are selling our recyclables. No? Wow. We are selling our recyclables. And uh, we have uh, a, a sufficient amount of money that we can also uh, maintain or support the salaries of the segregators, yeah. our segregators. Mm -hmm. Our trust and garbage, meaning to say the, 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 the biodegradable, mm -hmm. degradables like the leaves, the twigs, yeah. the branch, small branches, it is uh, uh, damp at the Silman, Silman Farm. Or, mm, or at the, the agric yes. College of Agriculture. Yes, and uh, uh, they are using it also as their uh, compost for their plants. Mm. Okay. You know, the, the as in, like natural or fertilizer. Natural. Yes, natural fertilizer. Mm. Wow. So, um, in our implementation of the zero waste management, during student activities, we let them uh, fill out a form that mm -hmm. declares their generated waste. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are the the measures that they will do to mitigate the generation of that waste? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, if it is a ge waste generated by outside concessionaires, so they will say that they will uh, bring it out of the campus. campus. And uh, or what shall they do? To, in order to to upheld the zero waste management, management policy of the university, so mm -hmm. the, our students know how to how to I know they are practicing it right now. Mm -mm. You know? All right, so thank you so much for that. I think that's a that's one thing Ron, that we can be proud of as 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 university. We sure. practice sustainability, and more importantly, you know, it's more than words. It's mm -hmm. really actions. When we come back, I'd like to ask here our security officer about um, because there are parents visiting the campus, mm -hmm. groups of alumni. I'd like to take pictures again and to rekindle some memories. What are the protocols? Right. Um, Sir Jules will answer that after a short break. Stay with us. Hashtag Suleiman will return.
Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Hashtag Suleiman. Before we took a short break, I asked here our security security guy, <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jules, about the protocol. Especially that a lot of parents are coming in the campus. We have visitors and even tourists. So what are the protocols, sir? Please uh, share it to our audience. With regards to our visitors coming visiting Suleiman University, um, as mandated by the Crisis Management Committee, that all requests should go through the Office of Information and Publication, wherein that the OIP will be the ones to share the information back to us, allowing them to enter the campus on a specific date and time. Mm. And with regards to our parents that would like to drop off their children inside the campus, um, especially during class hours, since our sticker as of the moment is currently on hold, Mm -hmm. um, what we usually ask from them is that they surrender their driver's license with them if they are driving a motorcycle or a four-wheel vehicle in re in replacement of a visitor's pass. Okay. So once they go get out of the campus, they shall surrender it and we shall return back their driver's license. All That's right. it. It's very simple. Simple. So how about for a group of alumni, sir, who like to come into university, the same protocol. They yes. just have to inform the OIP. OIP. So how do they reach the Office of the Information and um, they Publications? They can always call the Office of the Information and Publication, but what is um, preferred by the office is that they send an email. They can email the request uh, at oip at su.edu.ph. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Josh, I think we have enough time to accommodate this question. Earlier, kasi I asked about the challenges. I, I realized it might be unfair if we just talk about right. the challenges. So, we must also ask Engineer Edgar and Sir Joel about what, what do you like about your job? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I have been, uh, I'm 15 years in the office of the superintendent of the buildings and grounds. 15 years. 15 years. Mm -mm. Uh, before I was uh, employed as a faculty of the College of Engineering in 1998 and I was uh, invited to be the superintendent of the buildings and grounds in 2007. Mm -mm. So uh, I, I love my work because in my first job I was exposed in uh, supervising personnel, no? mm -mm. uh, supervising, uh, making maintenance also. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So the job as uh, the job of the superintendent fits me, mm -mm. You know? and uh, well, I'm happy. And uh, uh, sometimes I I go home late, mm. you know? and even even. How Sa late is late, sir? Late is uh, <laughs> some uh, eight or eight, nine. Eight, nine, yeah. You know, and uh, I always come on time. Our mm -hmm. time in the buildings and grounds is seven thirty. Wow. In the morning, because uh, the we are we are we will go inside the office before the offices opens. Correct. Mm -hmm. That is the the main reason there. We yeah. will be ahead of the offices to be open, and. Um, for the last 15 years, uh, the challenge to me is that how to improve the life of the people in the buildings and grounds. No, because uh, uh, before buildings and grounds, is uh, they call that one, uh, it is the Alcatraz of the university. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Why? Because... Uh, some of the undesirable employees are being transferred to the mm. buildings and grounds. So, <laughs> well, now uh, we see that the buildings and grounds uh, is uh, stepping up and yeah. uh, uh, making it uh, good or better. Out better in the university. We can see the landscape of the university. Yeah. You know, and. Uh, well, that is all the work of the peoples in the buildings and grounds. Do you know how many people right now, sir, you're supervising? Mm -hmm. uh, our contracted services, we have uh, 200 plus. 200. Uh, yes. Uh, that, that Those are the janitorial services, the building maintenance personnel, mm -hmm. and uh, the ground maintenance personnel. We have, uh, in, our, in my office, uh, we have, uh, I have 
uh, 12 staff. 12. In the office, mm -hmm. yes. Uh, and we have five sections in the building same ground. So. Uh, that's a big yes, that's, that's a, a big, big group end. yeah and then and we have a lot of work to do mm -mm. every day mm -mm. all right so how about you sir Jules? what do you love most about the job well for me i've been here in siliman university working for i think 13 years now 13 mm. years but but being the oic chief security officer in the security office um it's about two two years two, or two three. years pa lang. Mm -mm. So it's it's still uh, I'm still new, mm -mm. especially today that um, we we have the influx of students coming in after two years um, being being uh, having COVID around. So my for me the 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 thing that I love with uh, with regards to my job is that meeting new people. Mm -hmm. And I would like to thank also Siliman University for giving the trust uh, given to me being appointed as the OSC Chief Security Officer. So meeting new people and um, exper experiencing new challenges, difficulties, and I would say as well that failures are very welcome because yeah. every time I failed, I, uh, in the future at, at least it will, shall be corrected to avoid um, from happening it again. So yeah. that's it. I mean, that's the cycle of yes. life, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so as much as we would like to extend our conversation, we're running out of time. Um, engineer, what are the uh, reminders that you can share to our students to conserve energy, water, mm -hmm. and how they can help our university clean and green? Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to let the public know that uh, we have a a solar panel in the university installed uh, and it is generating 210 kilowatt you know, and uh, it is connected uh, on a grid tie mm -hmm. meaning to say uh, we're contributing long, yes we are contributing to our uh, usage of the power and whenever that there is generated power from the solar we stop uh, purchasing power from outside companies wow. you no know, and uh, our Supplier of power is a, a green one. Uh, we we get the, it from first gen. Uh, my my reminder to students, faculty, and staff regarding energy conservation is that uh, please uh, put off the lights, the aircons, the fans when there is no classes in the classroom. Mm -mm. No, uh, in fact, the university uh, exert. Uh, effort by uh, hiring a personnel to do rounds every every yeah. now and then to put off the air cons that is left on and also the lights in the classroom and uh, to conserve also water because uh, even though our our water in the university we are not purchasing it from the water district okay we have nine wells in the university wow that supports our water so we are uh, we don't we're not connecting at all at Dumaguete water yes, okay yes we are not connecting and uh, but our water is uh, being pumped using electricity so that's why we we encourage everyone ah, okay. to to save on water and to reduce also saving water will reduce also our electricity electricity cost. and uh, not only on energy and water but also uh, we will preserve our trees because those trees that is uh, growing in Siliman are our sustainable sustainer of our watershed mm -hmm. no uh, as long as they are here we have our abundance in water mm -hmm. wow I just love Suleiman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all. Thank you, Engineer. How about you, Sir? Just uh, mm, general reminders yes. to our students, faculty, and staff. My message to the faculty, the staff, our students, just bear with us, we, especially with the security guards if they're very strict. Um, we're just implementing the security measures in order yeah. for everyone to be safe. And reminders is that for you to always wear your Siliman IDs. Oh my gosh, only, have, only Sir Luxin is wearing ID have. among us now. <laughs> <laughs> and a special request as well, if you have any, if you've seen someone or you have something to report, don't hesitate 
to call our office and inform us of any suspicious, um, suspicious persons roaming inside the campus because um, we cannot uh, we cannot say that we're we're hundred percent that our our gate guards um, will be stopping or can caught someone. Yeah. So we need your help as well. So mm -hmm. don't hesitate to inform any or share any information that you have. What are the numbers to dial, sir? So our local numbers in the security office is 299. 299. So you can contact Siliman at 035-422-6002. Two. Two. And our local is 299. 299. All right. Yeah, thank you very much, Engineer, and thank you thank very you. much, Sir <clears throat> Jewel. Of course, we won't let you go unless you answer our fast talk. Because all of our guests are required to answer the fast talk. You don't have to think too hard about it. Yeah, you just need to choose one. All whatever right. comes to your mind. Let's start okay. with Sir Jewel. Is it summer or rainy days? Summer. Engineer, are you a night owl or an early bird? Early bird. Sir Jewel, is it mathematics or sciences? Mathematics. Okay, okay Engineer, is it the baked show pao or the cheese bread? Cheese bread. Cheese bread, loyal. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Jewel, would you rather choose date nights or morning walk? Morning walks. Morning walk. I, I'd like to know about Engineer. Date nights or morning walks? Morning walks. Morning, okay. <laughs> okay, Sir Jewel, is it your home or your workplace? Home, especially. Mm -hmm. Engineer, what do you think is the most beautiful spot in the university? The Silliman Hall. Silliman Hall, yes. yeah. Iconic. Mm, okay. Sir Jewel, is it essays or math problems? Math problems for me. Yes. <laughs> Engineer, what's yours? Essays or math problems? Math problems. Math problems. Okay. <laughs> Of course, he is an engineer. <laughs> All right. Now, for the last one, just have to complete the statement. Silliman University is... Uh, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, it is beautiful, Ron. Yeah, we have trees, and I just found out that we are sustainable for water supply. We mm. have solar energy. It's indeed beautiful. Mm -mm. And Sir Jewel, Suleiman University is number one. Number, number one. one. Okay. <laughs> And now we are at the last segment of Hashtag Siliman and that is Hashtag WTP Words to Ponder or Word to Ponder. Josh, what is your WTP for today? Well, I think um, I'm inspired by the word uh, sustainability, Ron, mm -hmm. because Siliman University in Dumaguete City is an exhibit A when it comes to sustainability from the zero waste management, from the, our buildings, our uh, electricity supply, water supply, name all of it, no? The bake shop and the cheese bread. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I think we are very sustainable because, you know, our waste, you know, they turn into money. Mm -mm. Our waste, they turn into fertilizer. So, you know, it's a complete cycle. So, um, I just love that, you know, Silima University is really making its vision and mission true to protect the well-being of society and the environment. Mm -mm. How about you, Ron? Thank you very much for that, Josh. You know, Josh, for now, I don't have a word to ponder, but a feeling of gratefulness. Okay. No? To the personals of the b buildings and grounds, to our security guards, our janitors, yeah. to those who are, um, um, to to those who have responsibilities to do the maintenance in our classrooms. No, without them, just imagine what will happen to Siliman University. Right. So please, um, I'm extending my thanks, no, to you, and please, um, please always remember that your efforts are not put to waste because we are really grateful and from the bottom of our hearts thank you very much for your services and efforts in maintaining Siliman University and of course for the alumni staff faculty and students please be patient because these people also have um, a lot of things to do no so yeah I have nothing no words to ponder for today yeah. but just a word of thanks for these people Got without it. you I cannot imagine um, Siliman University today you know I think Ron and if I may extend on that they are like the least recognized, uh, mm -hmm. I think, segment. Uh, but every day, that because we don't necessarily see them in action, True. like clean the room, that would be after the classes or even before the, before classes, the classes, our security guards, but they are just really our heroes and they're part of the Silliman University community. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining our episode tonight. Tagang salamat, to God be the glory. 
Hey there, Salamanians! Dagang salamat for joining our episode tonight. Don't forget to support our Facebook page. It's called Hashtag Siliman. We also have a YouTube channel. It's called Hashtag Siliman. Don't forget to click the notification bell for you to be updated with our recent posts. See you there! And catch us at Phil Products Channel 6 every Monday at 8 p.m. with replays on Tuesdays at before the noontime news and Saturdays after the noontime news. This has been Ronaline Faith by Losses and Joshua Soldivillo. Kira Kids next week on the Here On Hashtag, Hashtag Cinnamon. Cinnamon.